Howdy everyone. Um, just want to do a little vlog update, kind of like a tacky review thing. If you notice, my webcam is not as nice as it normally is. Um, I'm actually on my MacBook right now, so yeah, bear with it. But um, I was just doing a little case modding, painting up the top panel of my case, which is a pain in the neck. I had to you know drill out the rivets and all that, pop the case panel out. It's out there on the porch drying right now. Um, I'll probably throw a pickup in this video somewhere. But anyways, um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is, uh, let me kind of throw one of these back together right here real quick, is uh, your 120 millimeter, 140 millimeter, and so on fans. You know, these guys here, you know, these are in-wind fans that came in my Dragon Rider case. Now, I'm doing my fans, I'm doing my case red and black. For, um, so obviously, green fan, probably not going to go so well. Um, so what I want to do is I want to actually take and paint the fan blades and whatnot. Um, first, I have to take it apart because I don't want to paint the outer housing because, well, that would look goofy and it's hard to get full coverage if you can't reach it all with, you know, the parts behind the fan blades and whatnot are hard to get to. And you can't exactly reach up and touch it and spin the fan blades while you're painting it. So, and also, it's, it's a narrow gap. You don't want the paint, you know, bridging the gap by accident or something to be a little heavy in a spot. So I have to take these fans apart. Now, to do this, it's really not that difficult. It's kind of more intimidating than it seems like because most people don't like to do it. But there's a sticker right here. It goes over this. It's one of these guys right here. Now, obviously, I save these because I want to keep the stock look of the fan. Although you don't have to, there is a little black cover like this. Very hard to see on this webcam. That goes over the little hole in the center there. Pop, pops right in. That's all there is to it. Now, I use my X-Acto knife. Um, you can use an X-Acto knife, you can use a small, very, very small flathead like precision screwdriver to do this. But if you look, let's see how close I can get here. Right there, you see that little white ring? Now that's actually a lock ring. There's a little groove in the, in the shaft of the fan where it just goes in, pops in, and sits there. It's got a little gap in it. Um, actually, I've already got this one out. I'm just kind of going to give you guys the overview because I don't really want to put one of these back together and take it apart again. Um... Wow, these are really hard to see. But that's what it is. It's just this little tiny ring, very flat. Think, see? Now, now, on this little tiny, very flat ring, there is a gap. Um, it's going to be incredibly hard to find and then get up on the webcam. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick the knife through it. There's a little tiny gap. And what you have to do. Is you have to spread that gap apart and get it over the shaft of the fan and pop it out. Now, there's probably, you know, 40 million ways to do this, and there's probably at least 20 million different tutorials out there on how to do it. I'm just going to tell you how I did it. Now, all I did was, let me show you the fan here. See, on the shaft of the fan, right in here, there's a little tiny recess, okay? Now, all I did was I took and just put my knife in and started to spread it and put a little bit of downward pressure on the fins of the fan to hold it and kind of lock it against itself and then just work one edge of it out and then just ran around and it popped right out. Now, don't lose these things because they are incredibly hard to find if you do. Trust me. Okay. Now, not every fan has the little plastic ring. Some fans actually have a small metal clip. Um, the metal clip is actually nice if you have a pair of... Uh, uh, like snap ring pliers, which I don't expect most people to have. Hey, there's that ringtone again. Love it. Um, really got to remember to put my phone on silent when I'm doing videos. But uh, if you have, if it's a metal ring, they usually have like a little, like weird split with like a little like opening in it. So if you had a pair of snap ring pliers, you can just reach down in there, stick your snap ring pliers in there, give them a squeeze, and spread it right out. You can pull it off. That'd be nice and easy. I didn't have a pair when I did it, and that's how I lost a grip. That's how I lost a clip. Luckily. <clears throat> Luckily, I found it. I have a large magnet. Went over the floor and found it. Pink, along with like 16 screws and a couple other bits of wire ends and some LED pigtails. You know, not pigtails, but the little, yeah, metal ends off of the LED. Yeah. So, if you lose it, be prepared to hunt for it. The plastic ones you're not going to find with a magnet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you got. And then, you know, once it's apart, you have fan case and shroud. And all your little copper wirings, everything in there. And then you have fan blade. Now while you've got your fan blades out, this is an optimal time where you can actually get in behind them. These particular fans have a small o-ring down inside the fan body on the shaft. 
Um, it's a good idea to take your, probably a flathead screwdriver so you don't cut it unless you're extremely careful. Reach down in there and get that little o-ring and pull it up. Get it off the shaft. Little tiny o-ring. Clean any of the funk out of it. Any little dust particles, fur, you know, like mine, I have a lot of hair. So, you know, so mine have a tendency to attack, attract pieces of hair sometimes. But, you know, while, it's, while you got it apart, it's a good time to go ahead and clean it out. Clean the dust off the magnet. You know, just give it a good thorough cleaning. While it's apart like this, if you want to, you could actually take and wash it. I don't recommend the dishwasher. It gets pretty hot. You wouldn't want to melt one of these. I'm not saying that it would because I don't know. I've never tested it. Better safe than sorry kind of guy. Just take a little warm water, a little bit of, uh, you know, just soap, basically real mild soap and water solution. Give it a good scrub. Rinse it off. Hit it with some alcohol. If you got, if you got stickers, the stickers will come off with the washing. So you might want to take those off first so you can save them and reuse them. If you want to. It's not really a huge issue. But uh, once you're done, hit it with some alcohol. The exterior surface with some alcohol. Then, you, then you're set... Grab it by the shaft. Don't touch it after you've wiped it down with alcohol. Hang it up. Hold it while you paint it, something, and give it a shot with your spray. Just make it look pretty, you know. And I will give you guys a before and after on this so you guys can see what they look like. Um, yeah. Once you're all done painting it, though, you slap your stickers back on. Put it back in. Pop your little clip back on. You will probably need two small flathead screwdrivers in order to pop those back on. So you have to push one side down, get it started and then stretch the other side around, just to let you know. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a great time to clean these things, and, you know, you clean them, they're going to last you a lot longer. You're not going to have a bunch of funk built up on the, you know, on the shaft, and it's not going to cause a whole bunch of issues. Um, as far as lubricating them when you put them back in, because you notice they do have, a, they will have a little bit of lube on them. I use dielectric grease. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's, uh, you can get it at a, any auto parts store for the most part. It's, you put it on the ends of your spark plugs, keeps them lubed, keeps them from rusting out, and gets your, allows your spark plug wires to come off a lot easier. Um, comes in a little tiny package. You can usually get it for free, in fact, sometimes, or a quarter a pop, you know. But take a little bit of that, smear it on there. Don't go overboard on it. You don't need a whole ton. Don't get it on the magnet, just on the shaft. Pop it back in. Put a little dielectric in the back end of it. Pop your ring back on. Put your little plug back in, slap your sticker back over it. You're good to go. Fancy new or fancy clean fans. Wee hee. All right. Um, for now, that's it. Like I said, I will give you guys a before and after. So I'll do in the second part of this in about, well, let's face it, it'll probably be tomorrow. Um, after I get these painted and all pretty fied. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, comment, subscribe, rate, thumbs up, all that jazz.